Hello friends, today we learn how to load more data using Ajax JQUERY in PHP without page refresh. It is very common functionality in website. This is an interesting tutorial I had developed using JQUERY and Ajax. This is my simple HTML code. I have used Bootstrap CSS JQUERY framework. In HTML code I have one table with it load data table. This my database table with named TBL video with already inserted data. Now first I load data from table to web page. For this I have first make database connection. Then after I have make SQL query for fetch data from database with display limit. After this I execute this query and store result in one result variable. Now I define one variable with named video id for storing video id into it. Now I use while loop with miscly fetcher a function for display data on web page. and store video id from database into this variable. This will store last id of display data. Now I write new table row with id remove row for button with attribute named bt and more data vid for storing last video id and button id with named bt and more. After this we have to see output. Now I write jquery code for load more data from database. I write jquery code on button with it bt and more on click event. In this code first we have to get last video id from attribute data vid in which last video id is store. After this I change button text from load more to loading. Now I write Ajax function with following parameter. In Ajax first parameter is URL, I define load data.php. 
second parameter is method, I define post method. Third parameter is form data, in this I post last video id data through Ajax. Fourth is data type, I define text data type. And lastly is success with function which is output of Ajax function call. In this I will check if there is still have some data then it will append into table id with load data table and remove table row with id remove row. Else it will change button text with no data and fire alert message with no data available. Now I create new PHP page with loaddata.php. In this, first I make database connection. After making database connection I have defined two variable one output in which I will store HTML output for display load data and second is video id for storing last video id of loaded data. Now I make SQL query for fetch data from database. In this select query, I will fetch data with video id more than lastly a loaded video id. After making SQL query I execute this query and store result into one result variable. After I check number of row by using miscly non rows function, if row greater than zero then it will fetch all data from database by using while loop and miscly fetch a function and store all into output variable. After fetch all data and store into output variable I define one new row with id remove row for load more button with attribute name bt and more data vid for storing last video id from this loaded and button id with named bt and more. Now I lastly echo this output for display purpose. This all data will be displayed on front end to use without page refresh. Now I check output.
Nice, it load data properly. Thank you for watching this video. You can also subscribe my YouTube channel or you can also like my Facebook page or you can also follow me on Twitter.